Hi, everyone. Leo Notenboom here from AskLeo.com, where I've been answering computer and tech questions since 2003. So I ran across this question in a forum, and I thought it was a really, really interesting one. If you're looking for just a yes, no answer, the answer, surprisingly, is yes, any encrypted file can be hacked. Now, we need to define a couple of things and we need to understand exactly why it's not as scary as it sounds. First of all, what it might mean to hack an encrypted file would be to, say, access its contents without having the encryption key. The key is normally a password or potentially some other piece of data that is used to decrypt the file normally. If you don't have it and you're able to access the contents of the encrypted file without it, then you could be said to have hacked the file. Encryption isn't about a yes or no answer to that question. What encryption is, is making it so hard to hack the file that it is practically impossible. For example, a well-encrypted file using an appropriate encryption algorithm and an appropriately strong password or encryption key could take thousands of years of trying to um, hack into or decrypt the file without the key. Is that hackable? Well, yes, if you're willing to work at it for a thousand years. Um, but is it hackable for real? Pragmatically, the answer is no, it's not. So what makes a file less hackable? We'll call it that. Well, making sure you're using a good tool to begin with. These are the tools that use appropriate encryption algorithms. Um, if you're looking at things like PGP or GPG, those almost by definition are really good encryption tools. The tools that are used to encrypt the web, HTTPS and so forth, are usually very well designed and implemented algorithms. If you use a tool like 7-Zip or Zip with the appropriate password setup, a recent version of Zip, those are using appropriately strong encryption algorithms. So once you've got a good encryption algorithm, the next step is making sure you've got an appropriately secure encryption key. And that's where people tend to fall down. If you encrypt, for example, a zip file by putting a password on it and you give it a simple password, then absolutely that file can be um, hacked, can be hacked quickly simply by guessing common passwords. On the other hand, like we keep saying for your online accounts, if you make sure that it's a long, strong password, if it's a passphrase of multiple words, then what you've done is you've pushed the decryption algorithm into that thousand year thing where it would take multiple years, too much effort, too much time or too much hardware pragmatically to decrypt the file without knowing the password. So that's the trick. Make sure you've got a good encryption tool and that you set an appropriately strong encryption password or set an appropriately strong encryption key. Hope that's helpful. I'm Leo Notenboom. This is AskLeo.com.